Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Monday, February 7th, 2022. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. And guess who's back? Again, thanks to Elizabeth for filling in. Twas a long weekend away without the internet or cell phones in sunny Sanibel down in southwest Florida. So, in theory, I should be rested and relaxed, right? Well, it is Monday and there is some news, so let's get into it, shall we? This one is really interesting. Delegate Clippinger from Baltimore has introduced a bill that may see legalization of recreational marijuana use for adults. There is a companion bill in the Senate. It would go to a referendum ultimately on the ballot in November, but this bill lays out the framework, which will include automatic expungement for anyone with a single conviction for simple possession. Also, anyone that is currently jailed on cannabis charges would automatically get a chance to be resentenced. There would be a fund that would help certain people get in business, mostly those that have been adversely affected by the prior laws, but they will also offer educational program at most of the HBCUs, business incubators, and a lot more. And it seems that Speaker Jones is on board as well. So we might see this or something very similar come November. In Arundel County Schools have approved two new curricula. Students will now have the option of taking two elective courses on African-American history and American LGBTQ plus history. It will not be offered until the 2023-2024 school year. Now, the African-American course will focus on social, political, and economic aspects beginning in the 17th century. And similarly, the LGBTQ plus courses will focus on the, quote, socio-political aspects of LGBTQ plus history as an avenue to apply disciplinary literacy skills. I'm not sure about that word jumble at the very end there and what that means, but this is good news. And kudos to South River Junior Jaden Ferris, who really initiated the LGBTQ plus course. Not the county schools, but the key school. They will be hosting the Annapolis Book Festival again this year, and it will be returning in person, thankfully. The date, April 9th. Go put it on your calendar right now. It is a free event on the Key Campus and is truly an incredible experience for those who love to read. Authors will be there, speakers, panels, discussions, workshops, much more. Again, April 9th. And finally, I hope you caught a few of our podcasts. The Naval Academy Museum was on Saturday with the local business spotlight, and I can't wait to check out that 3D exhibit they were talking up. Up next weekend on the Local Business Spotlight is October Contracting, based right here in Eastport. And we also dropped a bonus pod with Janelle Burgoyne, who is the Chief Risk Officer for CQ. Really interesting how banks are keeping our money safe and what they're worried about. And not one of ours, but I am five-sevenths through a series of regional interest, and it's called simply Arson. Cara McGurk Allison, who is local, lives right here in Annapolis. She worked on Hidden Brain for years with NPR and everything else. She's produced it, and it's really a fascinating look into a serial arsonist here in D.C., Virginia, and Maryland. Supposedly, this is the biggest serial arsonist ever, and she is talking with all of the folks that investigate it and how they tracked him down. Really very fascinating. I don't know what the end result is. I'm in the middle of it, but you want to check that out. Again, it's called Arson, and you can get that wherever you get your podcast. All right, that's it for the news. But first, a quick thank you to our sponsors for today's daily news brief, Solar Energy Services, the Christy Neidhart team of Northrop Realty, a long and foster company, Rehab to Perform, and Alpha Engineering. All right, it is Monday, and Ann Alcina will not be here today with your Monday Money Report, but there is a slight chance she will be here tomorrow with your Tuesday Money Report, or she may be back next Monday. Anyhow, she is taking today off. But of course, George from DCMDVA Weather is here with your locally forecast weather. All of that coming up 
in just a bit. Are you an active adult or competitive athlete dealing with an injury keeping you from being at your best? Then Rehab to Perform is here to get you back to your full potential. R2P is a unique fitness-focused physical therapy company with four locations in Maryland. More like a training room and a personal training studio than a medical facility. R2P offers physical therapy for lower back pain, overuse injuries, post-surgery, muscle pulls, chronic pain, and more. R2P also offers rehabilitation for concussions and mild traumatic brain injuries. To learn more, visit rehab to perform.com. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. With all the talk of energy resilience in the news recently, I'm surprised there's not more talk about solar plus batteries, especially since one third of all of our new residential solar projects include a battery backup system that provides instant energy security and peace of mind. And with incentives in place for battery backup, this investment is now more affordable than ever. With financing rates as low as 0.99% and plans offering 18 months same as cash, it's now easier than ever to go solar with no money down. Financing creates an easy bill swap scenario where you replace your electric bill with a loan payment, allowing you to build equity in your own personal energy supply. Don't wait for your next power outage to act. Contact us today at 410-923-6090 or visit us at solarsaves.net to learn more about solar with battery backup. Don't wait another minute. Sunshine's a waste. Sunshine, sunshine, nothing else can make me feel so fine. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DCMDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now here's George Young of DCMDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey everyone, this is George with DCMD VA Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Monday, February 7th. Quite a cold weekend for the Annapolis region, but the week ahead should be much better with plenty of sunshine and warmer temps. Look for mixed skies and low 40s today, with maybe a little drizzle or a few showers, as a low-pressure center moves by to the southeast to be followed by plenty of sunshine the rest of the week and the weekend, too, with highs Tuesday near 45 with slightly breezy winds gusting to 20 miles per hour at times, followed by more sunshine in mid to upper 40s Wednesday, with Thursday through Sunday bringing daily sunshine and highs in the upper 40s to mid 50s each day. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DCMD VA Weather. Make it a great day out there today. Stay healthy and be safe. And be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for regular updates each day, as well as through our website at dcmdvaweather.info. And definitely download our DC. MDVA Weather app on all of your devices from either the Apple or Google app stores so you can always stay weather informed. The benefits of a good night's sleep are well documented. Sleeping well prevents weight gain, improves concentration and creativity, and boosts the immune system. So, what keeps you up at night? If you run a business, then the security of your computer network may be one of those things. Threats like ransomware and phishing are becoming increasingly sophisticated and pose a real risk to any business. Don't let these cyber threats keep you up at night. At Alpha, they've been helping their customers sleep better for over 30 years by monitoring in real time and hardening network defenses. And for those irritating IT issues that arise every day, Alpha's just a phone call away. Helping your business run smoothly and helping you sleep better knowing Alpha is on guard. Give Alpha a call to see if they can ease your worries and help you get the rest you deserve. Find them at alphagetsit.com. Another moving moment from Christy Neidhart of the Christy Neidhart team from Northrop Realty, a long and foster company. One of the most common questions we get, how do I maximize the value of my home before I sell it? It's a great question. We look at improvements like investments. What is the rate of return? For example, if we invest $5,000 in painting kitchen cabinets and installing granite, how much more will our home sell for? The answer, about $25,000 more. That's a 500% return on investment. Because of returns like this, we have started a program called Investing in You. We know cash is often tight when you're making a move, and we are here to help. We will front you up to $15,000 to invest in refreshing your home before you list it, with the agreement to be paid back once your home settles. Call us today at 410-599-1370 so we can help you maximize your home's value. 
That's another moving moment from Christy Neidhart. To get in touch, call 410-295-6579 or visit kn-team.com. That's kn-team.com. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, IonAnnapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at IonAnnapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.